Hey everyone, Sean Tierney here from theautomationblog.com and in today's video I want to show you how to do a startup screen or a splash screen inside of Factory Talk View for your Panel View Plus but without doing any PLC code like we did in the last video. So I have some notes here up on the screen and there's three things we need to do to make this work. The first thing is we need to capture the start up time so we know if our elapsed time has elapsed. You know, we want this, let's say we want the splash screen to be up for 10 seconds. Well, we got to capture when the panel view actually started. So we know if 10 seconds have elapsed. So that's the first thing we got to do. The second thing we have to do is we want to display the main screen after that time has elapsed by changing the value in the display control tag. And the third thing we have to do is after the main display is up, we actually got to reset that control tag back to zero or the operator will be stuck on that screen. So let's go ahead and do that. And the first thing we'll do is we'll create two memory tags. So I'm going to go into each of my tags here. And I'm going to go ahead and create a new folder called memory. Okay. And in here I will create my first tag. We'll call this start up time. And we will make it uh, analog. We'll make it a long integer. And we're going to make it really big. Okay, and we'll make it a memory tag that starts at zero. And we'll accept it. Okay, the next new tag we're going to need is a display control tag. Okay, we'll also make that an analog. And everything else looks good. I'll accept that. Okay, so the second thing we need to do is go to our global connections because we need to make um, the connection with the display control tag here, the remote display number. We got to connect that to our new memory tag here, display control. Excellent. Okay, now that that's done, the third thing we're going to do here is we're going to go over to startup, make sure we have our splash screen logo as startup. That's good. Okay, so that'll come up first. And now, um, we also need to do something else here. We're going to have to create a macro and we're going to call this macro startup macro. And what we're going to do here is we're going to set up the startup time equal to an internal tag, a system tag known as system date and time integer. Okay. So when the system starts, we will set our startup time equal to what the time was when the system started. So let's go ahead and close that and save it as startup macro. Okay. Now for that startup macro to run, we actually have to go under startup and select startup macro and there it is. Okay. So that's how we're going to do number one. We're going to capture the startup time that way. Now, how are we going to change screens? Well, we need, to, we need to know when that startup time is 10 seconds or greater in, in the past from the current time. And we're going to do this with what we call a, a macro here under Global Connections. It's a rem remote macro one. And when do we want to run that macro? Well, we're going to run that macro when the current date and time integer is greater than our, let's see, memory tag here, our startup time plus, let's say 10 seconds, plus 10. So when the current time is greater than our startup time and 10 seconds, so our 10 seconds have elapsed, then we're going to run this, what we call remote macro one. And the way that works is, that macro needs to be called macro one. And what we're going to do here is, after 10 seconds, we want to display our screen number one, our main menu. So we'll come over here, we'll go to display control, and we will change display control to a one. Here we go. Okay. And we will save this as, it has to be named macro one to work. So we'll call it macro one. Excellent. Okay, good. So now after that time is, expires, we'll display uh, the first screen. Now we need a way to set that display control tag back to zero. We'll do that with another macro. So let's go ahead and create another macro here. 
And what we're going to do is we're going to set that display control to zero so the operator can navigate. Okay, we're going to call this macro, we're going to call it start up done macro. And how are we going to trigger this one? Well, we're going to trigger it on the main menu actually loading. So when we've loaded the main menu, we can reset that display control tag to a zero. So let's go ahead and do that come under here in the behavior, and then we will pick startup done macro. Excellent. So now if all of this works, when we run our project, we should see that uh, we got our logo screen, and after 10 seconds it goes back to our main menu, and then we should be able to navigate between the two screens, um, you know, because that display control tag has been reset to a zero. Now I need my navigation button, so let me go ahead and put those on each of these screens here. Okay, I have navigation buttons on both screens, so I'll save them. Yep, and we'll close this one and save it as well, and close our notes. You know what, let me open those both back up because it would be nice to know how much time has elapsed. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this, and we're gonna change this display from the system date and time integer to be our startup time. Excellent. You know what, I'll copy that text right there, and we will put that in here. Okay, let me go ahead and align these. Whoops, got to get both of them. And align them. Well, let's align everything. Yep. Just select it all and align it. That looks good. So we got that on the main, but let's also do the same thing over here. So I'll grab both of those, do a copy and a paste, and we'll put these right up here. And that way we can see how much time has gone by. Excellent. So let me save that. Close. Close. Let's run our project and see if it works. All right. We have our logo screen. And we're hoping that in 10 seconds, let's see, it should be 213 over here. It'll automatically go to our main screen. Yep, there it is. And then if we've done it correctly, we've put a zero back into the display control tag. So now we can manually change screens. Excellent. And that's how you can do that startup splash screen completely inside of View Studio and the Panel View Plus without having to add any PLC code. And with that, if you'd like to get a copy of this application or this video, you can do so for a $1 donation over at the automationexchange.com. And if you'd like to get free downloads every month, you can make a small pledge, monthly pledge over at patreon.com forward slash automation. And of course, if you want to learn everything there is to know about programming the Panel View Plus and using View Studio Machine Edition, check out my affordable training course over at theautomationschool.com. It's called PVP Basics. And until next time, peace.